Hello, this is a test video to show you how VNC Viewer works. Now I'm going to go on to view VNC Viewer, and then this is the uh, password that you're going to be. So you're going to put your VNC server number in, which is going to be this number right here. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, and then you're going to have your encryption, which is always going to be always on. Now you are going to have to have a, have another laptop uh, that's got this running, so I have on the background. Um, so you can put the IP address in that comes up when you open cert user mode. You press connect, and then it shows you this screen, which shows you for authentication. For me, I just have to type lap, so lap, like that. Oh, sorry, there you go, laptop. And then I put my password in. That I'm just gonna do now. Right, I've done it wrong. Damn it, I always do it wrong. Eh. Uh, no, I'm still doing it wrong. What am I doing? Uh, 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 uh. Right, and then it's OK. And then it's going to connect. Just give it a minute. My other laptop says connected. There, uh, hey. <laughs> And there we go. It is done. So, um, this is connected. Um, so now we've got the other laptop screen. Which is a Windows 7 laptop. With the same transformation pack that I've got on this one. So you can see I can control this laptop from the other one. You can click stuff on there. So I can click the start menu. And it still comes up. But the Windows stuff. But I've got a clock in here which I can move. So move it around. It's a bit laggy because my other one is moving at the same time. <laughs> it's a bit creep. It's a bit creepy. So let me put this back in the corner where it should be. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so that's how it works. And if you just want to disconnect it, just close it. And then your other laptop says it's been disconnected. So that's how you do it. And also, I have Get Hyper if anybody of you like that. Uh, you can go and check out a video, uh, a website called, uh, what's it called? Like, where I can't remember. MP3Juice.com. And yeah, it's got a search box. You type any music in you want. Now, thank you guys. Rate and subscribe. Bye.